Hey, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Surviving Mars, a game where I, I've sort of had my eye on for a uh, very, very long time, and very, very recently I sort of got this game. It was the Steam Winter Sales, and I just recently purchased this game, and I fell in love with it almost instantaneously. I mean, I saw people play a little bit, obviously, but I hadn't really gotten the, the full flavor of the game myself, so I decided, well, you know what, may as well give it a shot. I bought it on Steam, and then after about 20 hours of playing in about a week. Yeah, I had free time. Okay, it was a winter break. But anyways, after about maybe 20 hours of playing, I was like, you know, I gotta get the DLC for this game too because I just can't not buy it while it's on sale, right? So here we are playing Surviving Mars. We're gonna boot up a new game right here. We're gonna decide who to play. It's probably gonna end up being one of the new DLC nations, most likely going to end up being something like, I don't know, India, maybe China, maybe Japan. I don't think China's the DLC one, but I think India, Brazil, and Japan are, so we're going to take a look at that. Also going to wait for my sort of overlay to load up on my phone. But anyways, I'm going to choose who we're going to play, and while we're doing something, I also want to make sure I don't have my uh, my head in a weird spot. I think everything's doing the things that they should be doing, so that's fine. Alrighty then, uh, let's check our min mission sponsor. Who do we want to play as? Well, we have Japan, we have Brazil, uh, did I say, yeah, China is one of them, India is not a new one, okay, so basically one of the new ones is, Japan one of the new ones is Brazil, but I think I really, really like India, just because of the metals refinery, later on it's actually really, really nice, so, hmm, it's a pretty hard, uh, pretty hard decision here, Japan is a difficulty of hard, Brazil is a difficulty in normal. I am looking for something not a little bit too hard because I have, a, I have played, you know, 30 hours of this game, maybe 35 hours of this game, but I haven't, like, entirely figured out how everything works here. So, hmm. You know what? I think Brazil might not be the worst thing in the world. We get large supply pods, which, you know, isn't, isn't that great, honestly. I mean, it's okay. That's all I can really say. It's okay. Uh, research for soul is 100. That's an alright. Already starting them out. Mare, uh, rare metals price is 35 million if you compare that to anyone else. It's actually a very, very good number. Like, it's an extremely good number. 35 million. I think it might be actually the highest one uh, that we have here. Paradox is 22 million, 24 million, 30, 20 million. Yeah, so Brazil actually has a ridiculously high uh, rare metals price, which is pretty interesting. Uh, and then we also get a rare metals refinery turns waste rock into rare metals, which is even better, uh, even better than India's, which is turning into regular metals. So... Hmm, that'll be interesting. Colonists also grant funding when they arrive on Mars. That's actually really nice. That's actually fantastic now that I think about it. That's a really, really nice uh, little bonus there. Uh, we also have a starting applicants of a hundred and we have nine billion dollars of funding. Okay. Passages cost no resources and are constructed instantly. That's actually pretty alright. Colonists suffer no penalties when using passages to work or visit connected drones. Uh, domes, I mean. That's actually really nice. I'd say Brazil actually has a couple of really, really good bonuses. Yeah, I didn't really pay attention to all the bonuses, but uh, these are actually really, really nice. You don't get any starting text, though, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I'd say it's actually really, really nice. So let's go with Brazil. I was going to choose uh, our colony logo. We're just going to go with this first. Which one do we want? We could just go with Brazil, basically. We could go with basically anyone that we really want to. They're, you know, all the basic ones. We have Quality and Special Brussels Sprouts one, which we could choose, but, uh, you know, we're going to leave that to his own to his own discretion to use whenever he wants, so we're not going to try and steal from him. We have, uh, yeah, all the basic ones. We could also go with, like, Don't Panic, Biorobot, a couple of nice ones. I think one of my favorite ones is actually uh, Final Countdown. Yeah, I'd say it's one of my favorite ones. We also have Mr. Hand, which is a nice little robot. It's your little drones and stuff. Curiosity is the rover. We have One Small Step, which is pretty nice. We also have Mars U. Oh, that's it's an interesting one, if nothing else. Family Values looks pretty nice. Paradox. I feel like I'd get copyright strike. I'm joking, I'm joking. Paradox doesn't really care that much. But I think we'd go with actually uh, Final Countdown here, just because it's one of my favorite ones. Uh, we also got the new Rival Colonies thing, which is uh, relatively new, I would say. Not super, super new, but you know what I mean. Uh, we can basically choose up to... I think we can have up to three. Three random ones. Uh, obviously, we can't have ourselves, but we can have a couple of uh, random ones. So we're going to do that, leave that as its, at its own discretion. Also going to choose a commander profile, because that is very, very important. We can choose uh, our city mayor, if we really want to. Uh, two, two billion uh, additional starting funding, which is pretty good, actually. Uh, buildings require upkeep less often, that's pretty nice. Uh, bonus tech Mars Nouveau, uh, building costs in metals and concrete are reduced by 20%. That is actually really nice. That is really nice for the very beginning. Uh, let's check the other ones. We have Adventor. Drones are gradually optimized to work and construct faster until Soul 100. That's really nice. Thomas hubs uh, no longer require power or maintenance. 
that's really good for expansion. At least the way that I've learned how to expand. Um, I haven't watched any anyone really play Thriving Mars past like the first couple of souls, so... Um, autonomous hubs. Sounds really nice, because the way I like to expand is, you know, just keep building hubs outwards and stuff like that. And we have the Oligarch fuel production increased by 25%. It's not super special. It's okay, I'd say. Uh, then we also have the Arcology unlocks the Residential Spire, which is pretty all night if you're uh, trying to do a tall game rather than a wide game. Next, we have the Hydro Engineer. You know what? I'm just going to... The one I usually go with the, is the uh, Astro Geologist because it allows you to deep scan from the very get-go, which is very nice. Uh, it allows you to sort of future plan things in your head, but... Um, it's it's relatively it's okay. It's not it's not the best thing in the world. One of the best things is actually rocket scientist because of the CO2 jet propulsion. I have to say is extremely useful. It's it's really really nice to have off the get go. Uh, we can also go with futurist, which is pretty all right. Breakthrough techs are research faster. Not super important since breakthrough techs maybe get five a game, so I wouldn't say they're the best thing to grab. Funding gains are increased by twenty percent. I say that's really really nice, especially when combined with our Brazil, but it's not super important. Hmm, okay. Also, uh, changes our difficulty challenge. Politician is apparently one of the easiest ones. Yeah, because the funding, obviously. Martian Patents gives you uh, free funding from the very beginning. Yes, it does. Which is a free 2 billion, I think, at the very beginning. So it's kind of like the city mayor, but it's just the tech. Okay, okay. Uh, minimum comfort for required. Okay, it's okay. Hydro Engineer. Start with a water deposit revealed. I'd say that's... Not super important. I think we're actually going to end up going with rocket scientists, if I'm, if I'm going to be honest here. We start with an extra rocket, which is really, really nice. Uh, we also get the bonus tech of CO2 jet propulsion, which unlocks shuttle hub and long-range transportation. I do like long-range transportation when it comes to things like maybe water is not nearby, and so you have to get things over to maintain that water, so you get like a drone hub there, and you get little drones working on it, and you just get the shuttles to ship things over to there while you uh, move things back, which is pretty nice. I think we're going to go with uh, rocket scientists, actually. And the mystery could be random. As you can see, I've only really done one of them. I am working on another one over here. I think it's the artificial intelligence one uh, that I'm currently working on in a different playthrough. But I think we're going to go with something I have literally never seen before. So, we want to make this easier. We want to make it normal, hard. Let's see. Uh, I think something that's not too difficult for a first playthrough of the series. I think we're going to go with something like Beyond Earth. This seems, seems relatively interesting. Game rules, I generally don't touch these things. Because it's almost like modding the game in a sense. So I think we're actually going to leave these on no events. Because you could add a couple of things, right? It just changes the difficulty challenge and stuff like that. But I do like the game vanilla as it is. So we are going to keep it as uh, completely normal. Game rolls there. And then we're going to go over to next. And we get to choose what we're going to bring down with us. Now there are a couple things I do like to bring down with us uh, right off the get-go. What that? Uh, one of those things is a lot of sterling generators. I love me some sterling generators. Those things are absolutely fantastic. Especially when they don't require maintenance and they're closed. Beautiful. So I think we're going to end up maybe... We don't need that many drones from the get-go. We only have... Um, I think the main thing we're going to have to deal with here is actually the fact that we don't have a lot of space. Mm -hmm. Okay. We do want a couple of sterling generators though. That's the thing. All these things are very important. The RC transport, how important is that? It's relatively important, I'd say. Yeah, it's, it's quite important. Uh, well, we could very well, uh, yeah, get one sterling, sterling generator. We could get either another drone or another orbital, uh, orbital probe. We have just enough space for either of those, and I think the orbital probe is what we're going to go with. Of course, we have another rocket to bring down because we are the rocket scientists. So, I think we're going to go with maybe this sort of setup. Two sterling generators, a fuel refinery, moisture evaporator, a drone hub, and that should be enough to get a couple things started, I believe. So, let's head over to the next button, and let's go. Oh, I didn't rename the rocket. Can I go back? We definitely want to rename this rocket. Okay. Instead of calling it the crux number one, we're going to call it the... Whoa. That's not what I wanted. The Corbett, ooh, hit caps, there you go. The Corbett Rocket. I was very, very used to typing in gaming right after I said Corbett, so. Corbett Rocket is what we're going to call it. We're going to hit OK, and we're going to go and start up the game. I'll choose a colony site first. Let's select ourselves a landing spot. Where do we want to go? We could go with... Let's check around here. I do like to start off with a little bit of water, at minimum. 
It's trying to be difficulty rating. You could get things really, really difficult, or to keep things relatively okay. Um, concrete is something that's quite important. Also, of course, select our own random spot here. We can go random and just get a random spot for this. This would actually be this would be the hardest start ever. Almost no water, almost no concrete, and uh, very little metals. Also, with a lot of cold waves. Never really interacted with cold waves at all. Dust storms. Hmm. I do want I do want something a little bit challenging. So I want to check out if we can get a lot of meteors, maybe a couple of dust devils. Oh, this would be really nice. I've only had a little bit more water, though. That's the thing. Meteors, uh... A lot of meteors. Nothing else. There's a lot of concrete, water, metals. I think this actually be a pretty nice spot. Meteors, of course, are a little bit of an issue, but that's the fun of the challenge. So, let's begin. We have a little bit of our load-up screen, and when we hop into the actual beginning of the game, I'm going to sort of move the webcam out and all that stuff, because I don't want to be in the way of, like, statistics or anything, right? So... Let's give it a minute, it'll hop right in. Now, I'm assuming if you've come to watch Surviving Mars, you have played Surviving Mars at least a little bit, right? So you know how the game works and all that stuff. But if you don't, this is generally a game where you build a city and all that stuff. I'm going to get this guy to shut up. Okay, he's already done, nice. Great, so uh, this is a game where generally you have a whole bunch of resources, you send people to Mars. It's it's really exactly what you think it is, honestly. So, uh, it's better to show you what everything is rather than just tell you. So, welcome to Mars. Everyone at Mission Control is impatient to see the rocket touching down and unloading its precious cargo. Our remotely controlled eyes and hands on the red planet, the drones and rovers. Our goal is to secure a foothold for humanity by building the first Martian dome. This daunting endeavor will allow the brave pioneers, the founders, to settle on Mars and prove that the colony is sustainable. But until then, we have to make sure the colony has enough construction resources, water, oxygen, and power. Mission sponsor is Brazil, and we are a rocket scientist. Very, very nice. Okay. Yes, welcome to Mars. Uh, landing sites, all that good stuff. Got all the tips still there, just in case I forget something, because it has been a, a little while since I have played Surviving Mars. So, we start off here. We can see we have concrete off right off the bat. I'm sort of looking around to see if we can uh, sort of maybe suspect anything else around here. We do have a couple of rocks that uh, it's not entirely important. I do like that we start off with the concrete at the very least. I would like to know... So very, very interesting little swirls here. I would very much like to know where, generally where water is, right? It'd be pretty important. Let's start off with a, uh, a sector to scan. Generally some sort of flat land would be nice. This would be nice for a couple of windmills here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's start off with over here. Milestone achieved. Oh. Anomaly found. Water and anomaly found immediately right off the bat. It's fantastic. Let's also queue up uh, our technology because that's kind of important. I may or may not have just uh, missed out a little bit on it, so let's check out something here. Let's go with um, let's go with robotics first, right? It's unfortunate that we lost a, a little bit of 250 tech there, but that's fine. Let's check out a couple of other areas. We have global areas, not very much. These general locations. I want something flat that isn't very hard to, uh, to get to. Let's check out what's over here. Alright, and just just for the heck of it, let's uh, drop one down there. Okay, so we've got a couple of uh, anomalies around here we can check out. We can also decide where do we want to put our rocket. Now, we're in a little bit of a scenario here where you have a lot of raw, or uh, not raw metals, well I guess kind of, metal deposits randomly scattered about here. We also have a good old underground deposit of water, very, very important to keep your settlers alive. We also have a concrete depot over here, and I just want to remind myself uh, the range. Oh, thank you for telling me the rocket. Okay. I just want to remind myself the range of the rocket, actually, because I want to see generally what the uh, the range of a drone hub would be like, which is kind of roughly this area here. So we want to be able to reach the water. We definitely want to be able to reach the concrete. And if we could, we don't seem to have any uh, areas around here that would, you know, give me signs that there would be a metals deposit, like a regular old metals deposit or anything. But I think we can probably... Put a rocket down right about here, uh, maybe just about there, it'll give us the biggest amount of resources we can. Okay, let's stop it down. There you go. I'm already halfway through our first soul, I believe. I have uh, maybe wasted a little bit of time here. Let's move up the speed a little bit. Alrighty then, our wonderful rocket has just touched down. Camera controls, yes, I'm aware. I might want to disable those hints at some point, but as for now, we're just going to let them do the thing. Okay then, yes, vehicle orders, thank you very much. Uh, let's decide what we want to do here. Okay. Okay. So, welcome to Mars. Welcome to Mars, ladies and gentlemen. What do we want to put down the first? 
we might want to start off, first of all, with the drone hub. It's very, very important. Um, no, hold on. Electricity first before the drone hub, or else the drone hub doesn't work. Yeah, okay. Rare metals refinery right off the bat. Apparently we have that. That's pretty nice. Let's start with our sterling, uh, sterling generators. Now, where do we want to put them? Put them. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. We put them up against this little edge here. They're pretty nice. We also want to plan our tunnels. We're going to want to put a tunnel up here. Generally, like, up there, right? Uh, let's also check how good wind turbines up here. That's only 9% elevation boost, but it is an elevation boost nonetheless. Let's see if there are any uh, other areas around here. This would be very, very nice for elevation. I'm suspecting we're going to have a very, very um, mountainous colony over here. Let's check. 62%. Um, I'd say it's really, really nice, actually. Yeah, I say it's very, very cool. Uh, and over here, 62%. Okay, so somehow these guys are literally the exact same altitude. I don't know how that works, but apparently it does, and I'm totally cool with that. Let's uh, keep these areas up for some exploration. There we go. We got 10 areas queued up. Let's start with our electricity. Okay, what do we want to do here? Somewhere up against the edge, we're going to put our uh, sterling generators. So let's slap down... Since they only take up one tile, let's put them generally over here so they don't take up a lot of space. Other than that, we're going to want to, obviously, attach them with power cables. There we go. And we're going to want to maybe set up some other things in the general area. So I like to have uh, solar panels sort of like in rows like this, right? So it's going to be a two row in that direction. Yeah, okay, so solar panels are going to be like that. Going to get uh, power cables generally this way. Set up our first little, uh, I guess, solar farm is going to be. We're under even terrain. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Okay. That puts a little damper on things, actually, doesn't it? Mm hmm. It really does. Okay. You know, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, as long as we keep uh, a little bit of room for a. Yeah, you know what? We'll be okay. We'll be okay. So let's, uh, okay. Power cables generally something maybe over here. I don't have to move it very, very far. I don't want to obstruct things too much, but of course we can always rewire things a little bit later. So let's move things generally in this sort of layout should be okay. Also going to move a drone hub, put it maybe right there. I like the green color, really. Um, probably because it's Brazil that we're playing as. And we're going to want to put down our life support in some sort of area, kind of like over here. We're also going to want to expand our power. Uh, does this all work? No, it doesn't. Okay. Sort of over here, right? So we can have a little bit of a farm over here as well. Let's start with a couple of uh, solar panels, maybe. Also want some wind turbines, but we are going to definitely set up a massive wind turbine field just over here. That's going to be fantastic. Uh, let's start with a couple solar panels first, though. So a couple solar panels just like that should be okay. And a couple of wooden turbines. Let's also keep in mind, uh, these only use metals, that's fine. But wind turbines, they end up using machine parts. So you see it's uh, four concrete and one machine part. We actually can't make those right now. So we're going to leave that to its own business. Uh, the sterling generators are prefabs, which means they will be set up on their own. I'm also going to set up drone hub as our important one. And we're going to go over to our concrete. Just over here. Do I want it like that or do I want it like that? Let's check our drone hub. It's going to be sort of like that. So it doesn't really matter that much. Okay. Too far from working drone commander. Okay, so just, just to begin with, we're going to set it up maybe over there. We're going to uh, salvage some of these cables just like that. Just so we can have it a little bit cleaner, you know. Generally, maybe... I should be fine. And then we're going to set up our little uh, dumping site right about here, kind of, you know. Three dumping sites should be fine for this amount of uh, concrete. I don't actually know how much we have here. 1,452. That is a rather, rather, uh, really large amount of concrete, actually. Pretty surprised. Okay. So this, this number of dumping sites should be fine. Uh, we're going to get ourselves the Concrete Depot. Can we put it down relatively right there? Nice. Wonderful. Going to get our Universal Depot, put it right next to our Drone Hub. And we should be good to go. I think I set everything up just about the way I wanted to. 
obviously transport are also is also going to want to sort of pick up some things in a far off area and deliver them to us so let's see uh, it's not really a large space that we can go around here because it's very very mountainous in these areas so we're gonna check out uh maybe some some metals in this general direction if we can i think because we haven't uh, scanned it we can't actually send them over for places that we haven't scanned so Alrighty then, uh, let's take a look. Maybe just like get things over here, uh, move it all and just unload them right there. Okay, definitely unpause now. There you go, let's move up to the fastest speed just for the sake of getting things moving along here. These little guys, which are very, very cute, are gonna end up uh, picking up some metals for us, moving them around, that'll be great. Yes, you have no power right now, but you will soon. So all these little guys here that pop out of the drone hub will not have power for a little while. We're setting up the infrastructure, everything should be fine soon. There you go, first sterling generator is now up. But now it's technically not connected to anything, right? So we're going to wait for it to... There you go. Now it's connected to something, supplying power just like it should be. We have a net of 17 power, and we're going to want to uh, set up a couple more things here. Now that we have power, we're going to... Uh, I guess we're going to have to make our little connections over here as well. Now, solar panels do connect to each other, which is very, very nice. It's uh, very, very good. So I think we're going to sort of set up a little, little farm here of solar panels. And we're going to set up a little bit of a battery space as well. I want to see um, where the uneven terrain actually is. It's not entirely clear, which makes uh, planning things a little bit, a little bit troublesome. So let's set up a couple of uh, power accumulators here. And they will take up two polymers each, so we're going to have to uh, be a little bit careful about what we're spending our polymers on, because we can't ship anything for a little while. So we can ship things right now, actually. We do have $6.4 billion. Um, perhaps. Perhaps. Okay, then. Power accumulators should be going uh, when they're done. We should also have our large solar panels relatively done in a little while. Of course, everyone has to unload everything first, obviously. And uh, let's start setting up our dome ideas here. We have our uh, research progress to one. Yes, we do. Nice. So let's take a look at what we really want to put our dome next to. Now, over here is an anomaly. Uh, we're going to want to send down our ship right now, actually. Send down our cargo ship. We can afford to send a couple of polymers, a couple of everything. Let's get ourselves... Um, we actually don't need as many uh, moisture evaporators as I imagined we might, which is a good thing that I didn't decide to bring down a whole bunch. Instead, we're going to bring down uh, one of each kind of factory. And I think... Hmm. The commander and the explorer are very, very nice to have right off the bat. If I can maybe... lay off a couple of other things. I suppose I'd really have to keep everything there, wouldn't I? So, no, that's fine. Let's get the explorer as well. Let's sort of get the uh, the basic set up. Yeah, that should be okay. I think that should be fine. Well, do we need this right now? We actually don't. Yeah, we really don't right now. Just remember to save the money for them later, because we, we really do need them later. Let's get the uh, the raw materials right now. These are the most important two from the beginning. Let's get like ten of those. And make sure we max out on storage too. So let's get a couple of drones, I think. Ten should be fine. And I think... I think we will be okay. This seems like a good number of things. Okay, yeah, let's launch it. There you go. It should be coming along very, very soon. Alrighty then. Soul 1 is coming to a close relatively soon. Uh, let's see if these guys get everything set up by the, by the uh, day's end. Looks like it's going to take a little while since we are... Uh, yeah, drone heavy load. We are going to make them pick up a whole bunch of resources and all that stuff. This guy is going to take his sweet time picking up a whole bunch of metals and bring them to the Universal Depot over there. Metals and machine parts will be used in the concrete. Okay. We do need the concrete for uh, this, so I'm going to tell them. I actually want this to be a priority. Build this first, because um, we need the concrete output to begin with. Just to get you know started and all that stuff. Let's get that done. It'll take five metals. Not that much. Machine parts, too. We do have enough for that, so that's fine. Then we're going to want to drag all our stuff over here. Uh, moisture evaporator. We don't need that right now. Let's get ourselves a water extractor. 
How much water do we have here? Uh, 12,000. It's a very good amount. It's a very, very good amount. Yeah, that's a really, really nice amount, actually. Okay, that's fine. Uh, huh. So we're going to want to also bring power cables over, because that's very, very necessary. Uh, I'm thinking of a way, how are we going to bring this over so that it's not super, super uh, cumbersome to, to move around? There is actually a way to move cables over here, so I think I'm going to use this method. Okay, that's good. Then we're going to see if we can uh, sort of like a line going over here. Leave a whole bunch of space for our, uh, what do you call them, other things. Like our dome and all that stuff. That's actually not a very good place for it. Hold on. Let me get my uh, salvage tool. Boop, boop. There you go. And try that again. Let's see. Generally, where can we actually move things? This seems pretty all right. We're going to want to keep it at least at least looking okay. You know. It doesn't have to look amazing, but it has to look okay. All right. It has to look presentable, almost, in a way. You know? So let's, uh, let's get something kind of like this. Seems fine, right? We're also going to want to put a couple of uh, dumping sites around it. Put one there. That was a really bad place for it, actually. Let's not put that there. Let's put one. Oh, there you go. Thank you for the hosted very much, Mr. ALX. Uh, let's put ourselves down maybe right there. Yeah, and then this is going to dismantle, and then we're going to put down another one. We don't really need uh, that much, so. There you go. Let's put down dumping site right there. Get things all nice and uniform so they don't look super messy. And then that should be a nice place for another one. There you go. Alrighty then. A couple concrete and some machine parts. Unfortunately, we need to get the concrete moving first. So that also means we need to get the, uh, the metals moving around. These guys are going to build the infrastructure first. I don't really understand why, but sure. Why not? Why not? Alright, then you guys are building the concrete extractor. Very, very nice. Construction progress is nearly done, and we have concrete, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic. Okay. We also have tons and tons of power. Uh, we're going to want to use that concrete to focus on power storage, which is one of our priorities. So let's get those uh, prioritized immediately. So when we have the concrete, we get that done. Before we get the, uh, before we get the water done, because the water isn't as important right now. Speaking of water, though, we should probably end up getting, like, a water tower. Might be a good idea. Now, I'm going to refrain from building things like the water infrastructure until I know where I want to put my first dome, right? There are a couple of, uh, there are a couple of places to put it, but not really great places. Oh, I almost forgot something. Let's put down our... Where is it? Sensor tower, yes. Let's put this down somewhere. Hmm, where should we put it? Somewhere out of the way. This seems like a nice place. This is right next to the drone hub. You know, the drone hub doesn't take up that much space. It's it's fine. One electronic and one metal. There you go. We are running a little bit low on polymers, actually. Now that we're using the polymers for uh, power accumulators, this guy is getting a fair amount of power right now. Also, you are ready to land. Right. Put you down right there. We're going to need some fuel output relatively soon. So... Let's work on something maybe like that. Uh, drone heavy load. Okay, yeah. There you go. We have all of our wonderful things. I think I also have uh, a little bit too loud, my audio here. So let's turn down a couple of the sounds. The voice should be a little bit uh, down as well. Move things down a little bit. There you go. So I think the, the sound of rockets landing and all that stuff is a little bit too, ah, too, too much, really. So, uh, you guys are doing just fine. You should be working on something. Let's get you to... Uh, that's the research. Do we want the research right now? I think we do want the research right now. Let's go and scan the anomaly. It'll get us the uh, transport optimization, which is pretty nice. Uh, decommissioning protocol is pretty good as well. I think... Probes aren't the most important thing in the world, really. Yeah, let's go with that next. Unless we get something that's really good in, uh, in transportation. Then that's, uh, you know, that's the priority then. But we have to uh, discover text for text first. So we have to get maybe something over here, maybe something over here, you know, all that stuff. There we go, and only should be getting done pretty soon. I'm assuming you guys are all done. Very, very nice. Getting ourselves some good old power storage. Sector scanned. Hey, what's up, Mr. ALX? How are you doing tonight? 
that you should be almost done. We got the sector scanned. Uh, let's zoom it to our map. All right, nothing was discovered over there. We also have a meteor falling right there. Oof, that'd Research be very bad if complete. that uh, that meteor Anomaly fell on us. Analyzed. Milestone achieved. Lots and lots of voice things pop up messages. That means we finished our research. We got basically half of a tech right there. That's pretty nice. Uh, I think we are going to. Oh, we got the drones and rovers faster. Okay. We'll queue that up next since we already have basically half of a tech done. I'm just saying, maybe you should go work on your homework. It is uh, relatively late, at least where I am. Well, not relatively late, it's, it's like 7.30. It's not the worst thing in the world. But, uh, ooh, I am disappointed in you, Mr. Alex. You should be getting your homework done, sir. Should be done. Transport optimization, very good. Uh, I, want to, I want to talk about this guy. Okay. You should be doing something. I don't know what you should be doing. Metal loss. What should you, get? What should you be doing? Picking up metals. Can you actually walk over here? Or not walk, I mean, you know, drive. Can you do that? Oh my god, you can. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, sure. Load the resources. And I'm right there. We need the metals flowing in. Good, sir. Concrete is doing well in terms of our... Uh, where we're keeping... These guys aren't doing anything. What should we get you guys doing? Ah, yes. Okay, now that we have the water extractor up, we should probably put a place... Or get a place to put that water, huh? Yes, we should. Okay, let's get our pipes going. Oh, very, very nice green pipes. I love this color. I absolutely love this color. Okay. Very nice. All right, let's get our uh, water storage generally in this area. Seems nice. It's nice and flat. We don't have anywhere else for it then. So. All right, see you later, Mr. Lilax. Have a nice night. Alrighty then. Uh, let's put down our uh, water tower, maybe? Oh, I don't know. I like to make the, the pipes follow like that, right? I'm afraid you guys actually have that over there, because I just put it in a terrible, terrible, terrible place. Uh, apparently I should have had those pipes facing this direction. You know, like a smart person would, but... Uh, let's move it. That's not that's not the worst thing. We can just keep it there, right? We can just keep it there. We can get our water tower. Get a couple stacked up like that. What do they take? They only take metal. Very nice. Okay. Makes my life significantly easier. Uh-huh. Fuel refinery, hmm. Where should we put this? I was leaning towards over here, but that doesn't seem like a great place, so we're gonna want to set up our solar farm kind of over there. Let's put it... Fuel refinery doesn't seem like a bad place to put it, like, just nice and snug in that corner, right? That seems like a nice place to put it. Um, let's go to the pipes, going along like this. Just along like that. Very nice. Alright, our drones are going to work very busy looking around here. Everything is looking nice and done. Buildings are not working. Well, of course they're not working because I haven't set up the pipes yet. Just calm down. Shush. You'll be okay. Alright, then. Pipes are done. Uh, you guys going to build this at some point, I guess? Oh, they're not put in the right place. Oh, I thought I did. I thought it like automatically connects. I suppose not. Am I? Am I doing? Am I not doing this right? Oh, I'm so confused. I'm not doing this right. That doesn't make sense. Okay, just in case, I'm gonna put it like that. Hmm. I thought maybe it was a graphical glitch. Maybe it is, actually. But, uh, that's odd. Okay, let's get our fuel production up and going. I would have really liked to grab another uh, fuel refinery, but I guess that's just not how it's meant to be. Let's also set up our uh, moisture vaporizer just because we have it, so we may as well. Oh, thank you, air production, for the little tutorial. Let's set it up maybe right next to the water tank. Seems fine. We should get uh, the rest of our uh, life production set up maybe... That seems like a fine place for it. Let's get two moxies, actually. Just like that. Let's get our oxygen tanks. Also, sort of in the general area. I really like this compact setting or setup that we can make over here. Yeah, let's put that there. 
And let's get our next oxygen tanker right about there. That seems nice, right? That seems pretty nice. Yeah, now I'm really confused. Oh yeah, there's nowhere to put it, that's why. No longer confused. We're fine. Three metals, we should be moving over fairly soon. I'm, I'm surprised we're doing pretty well on the metal, metal sort of general thing. Having metals, you yeah, know, that's good. Uh, oh, I should have had you working on things. What am I doing? Yeah, go work on that anomaly. Yeah, that's important. Uh, RC commander. I guess sir, you're you're in a good place. You over here need you to get to picking this stuff up and dumping it right there. We should try and scan things faster. We do get a sensor towers boost of 137% here. However, we can probably put down another one, and it does give you it does stack the boosts. You know, it does stack them, which is nice. Let's build one because it's very very cheap. Just one electronics and one metal. And considering we do have a fair number of electronics, we should be fine probably. Just as I suspected, we only had two rockets in the very beginning. We have the Corbett rocket and we have Crux number two. We should keep the name, doesn't really matter. RC Explorer is relatively close to done. There you go. We got our service bots. Oh, non-medical service buildings upgrade. Service buildings no longer require workers and operate at 100 performance. Okay, that's actually really, really nice. Non-medical service buildings, that's a lot. That is a lot of different kinds of buildings. That is really an incredible breakthrough, actually. Okay, let's get you over there to scan that anomaly as well, see what you come up with over there. I think this is uh, new technologies. The, uh, the sort of scanned. vial. Oh, yes, domes, thank you. A little sort of beaker or vial or whatever has the uh, extra research, like points generally. Then there was that one, which is, oh, I don't remember what that one was. It was like... I don't remember what the icon was, but anyways, the keys give you more research, like things that you can research. The little beakers, like the research thing here, gives you literal just points. And the other one just gives you breakthrough text, which is really nice. I really do like breakthrough text. Uh, uh, th yeah, text. Whenever I think text in my head, I'm like, texts? Like books and stuff? Like, no. No, that's not what it is. Let's get one of these guys uh, fueled up. You are the priority one, yes. Yes, you are. You are getting what we need. Just just to be sure, let's get that priority going up. Anomaly analyzed. Anomaly analyzed. New things are available for research. Things like drone swarms. Okay, pretty good. And things like the Earth to Mars initiative. Increase research provided by sponsor by 100. I think that is actually one of our priorities, considering we have only 100 research a day, and that's really all we can do right now. So the first thing we're going to do, I think, is we're going to send this, this rocket back, and then when we send it back home, or back to Mars, I guess. Yes, yeah, so you land on Mars on purpose in this game. I know, it's very confusing. This game is basically the actual way you're supposed to colonize a planet. You know, like all the games where you crash, like Subnautica, Factory, and all that stuff. No, no, this game is where you're actually supposed to land on the planet. I know it's a little bit odd, but apparently that's how it is this time. I don't know. You know, I think I think humanity's doing some some correct steps this time, and instead of doing all the crash landings, we're doing things you know, the way they're intended to be. Anomaly found. We have found an anomaly. Okay, very nice. Oh, also we get a research site. That would be pretty nice to put a bone, uh, build a bone. No, build a dome there. Uh, we also got a couple of metals over here. We're gonna send our guy to go and pick up for us. Pick that up. Thank you very much. I'm going to unload it right there. Oh, wonderful. Let's get you to come over here and scan that key anomaly for me. Oh, of course, I'm not talking badly of Factory and Subnautica. I love those games, absolutely. Uh, I played, I think, uh, you know how Subnautica was, you know, sort of free uh, a couple of weeks ago on the Epic Games launcher. I played the hell out of that game. I think I played, like, literally 30, maybe 35 hours in a week. That game is incredible. I'm just saying. In Factorio, I don't even get me started. I've been playing that game for years. I'm just waiting for the the right time to hop back into it so I can get a let's play going on the channel. Love those games. Absolutely. Alrighty then, uh, let's move, maybe, can we move drones over? I don't think we can, unless they, unless they themselves move. We can also uh, check the planetary view, because, uh, oh yes, other colonies. Yes, we have the colony of Japan here, we have Space Y, I wonder what this could possibly be. And we have the colony of China. Now in my other game I have 
the uh, the easier starts surrounding me, so it's kind of hard to keep up with them. Like we have the Americans, we have the International Mars mission, which is like obviously one of the the best ones to start with. I think it is actually the very the easiest one, the International uh, Mars mission. So these guys, uh, you get a little bit more research than I do. Totally not jealous of the fact that you get more research, but we will be able to fix that relatively soon. After we get the uh, decommission we protocol, analyzed. we're going to get a couple other things. New research, let's check out what we got here. We got a whole bunch of things. Okay, we got extractor amplification. Okay. We got systematic training, which is pretty good. We got ourselves the Explorer AI. Very, very good as well. We're going to queue that up because it gives us more um, more research points per soul. We also get the water reclamation system. Not the most useful thing in the world, but uh, this is also very, very important. Advanced Martian engines is very, very nice. Alrighty then. Uh, is there anything else for you to analyze, or am I gone? Have I gone delirious? Yes, I've gone delirious. Okay, nothing else for you. I did have a Discord server, but I decided that I think it's. I think it should be a time to uh, to remake it later on. I got rid of it because I, I generally I just never used it. And uh, to be completely honest with you guys, not a lot of other people used it too. I think I had a couple of people on it, but I got rid of it because like. I didn't really use it. I have my own personal Discord servers and all that stuff, obviously. But uh, no one's invited those to my friends. So. Anomaly found. Send you over to here. Seventy percent. And what is that? It's gonna cost a thousand, so that is three more days. Three more souls, my bad, my bad. It is twenty-five hours, not twenty-four hours. It is not a day, it is a soul. I'm gonna try and remember that every single time. Power production is 20, power demand, that is fine because we are solar panels. Sort of chill in there. You guys are doing just fine. Very, very much uh, keeping up with the demand. We're doing fine. Yeah, I really wish I had another one of these uh, fuel refineries. Now, technically, 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 we can grab ourselves a large supply pod because Brazil gets large supply pods, which is very, very interesting. So, we may as well grab ourselves a couple things. I mean, we're gonna need a couple polymers, a couple machine parts and all that stuff. And if we can grab ourselves another fuel refinery, that would be fantastic. Not only that, maybe a couple more drones would be okay. Maybe an orbital, a couple orbital probes instead. Just two. No, well, maybe just one. One and two drones. Does that sound, does that sound good? I think it sounds good. Yes, that should be good. I think so. Let's launch it down. Bring it over. We're going to need a couple of these things. Fuel refinery especially, because this is taking... Oh, this is taking ages. Come on. I mean, this, come on. We are on Soul 6, and we're only you know, anomaly halfway analyzed. done, right? Anomaly analyze what we get out of it. New text There's available for research. The okay. We got ourselves uh, low G hydrosynthesis. Very, very nice. I, I like how we got this uh, relatively early game because usually what I like to do is bring down the prefabs, right? So it's nice that we got this early game because then we can we don't have to bring down the prefabs. Save us a little bit of money. And then the moxie upgrade, you know, it's it's okay. You don't need it. Uh, two moxies can support like three domes. Well, more than three domes. I mean, a dome maybe takes like two. So we can, each moxie can probably support, yeah, three domes. All right. Glad this guy is uh, moving along here. We are at nearly 45 minutes here. We can keep going for a little while. This guy should be done relatively soon. Our yeah, little uh, our large supply pod should be down here a little while. Yeah, you know that actually sounds great. Actually sounds great. And I'm not gonna read that out loud. Well, I kind of read it out loud. Kind of. I mumbled it. I mumbled it right. But uh. Actually sounds great. Um, and of course, I'll be the DMs later on uh, after the stream, which will be in about 15 minutes. That sounds actually really, really, uh, really, really nice. A bunch of Canadians, eh? Joining together, playing some uh, good old games, Discord servers, and all that stuff. That sounds like a, that sounds like a great time, actually. If I'm honest. Let's bring down our little pod here. All right. Everyone's working. Actually, not everyone's working. Oh right, yeah. Second the dust scan. kicked up by this guy actually creates a couple of issues. These guys need to be fixed. Yeah, forgot about that. Except dust and all that stuff. We didn't hear through the mumbles. Shh, that's fine. That's the point. Um, yeah, you guys can actually be salvaged. I forgot, but you can, you can actually do that. 
Everything should be moved along, actually. Oh, what's the issue here? Oh, we already have maxed out with machine parts. Okay, that's fine. That's actually okay. That's okay. What I wanted to is check out where we're going to put the first dome. First little basic dome here. We could put it right here, actually. I'm not super keen to that, but technically it is the most safe, you know, space-conserving thing we can do. Is putting it generally over here, you know. Um, we, could put all, we could put it here as well. I'm just looking, you know, where do we want to put things? What is this? A vista, okay. That'd be nice to put a dome relatively over there. Hmm, our first dome though, it doesn't really need to be super, super special. I just want it to be in a generally good area. You know, I think if we can put it a little bit off to the side, it should be fine. That should be fine, right? Yeah. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, let's put it down right there. Let's grab ourselves our pipes. Connect it up just like that. Should connect uh, both our oxygen and water supply systems. And this will take a little while to get built here. It's going to require a lot of metal. It's going to require a lot of concrete. We don't really have the amount of concrete that we... Uh, we could right now. Let's get ourselves, um... Oh yeah, fuel refinery, yes. Very, very important. Stop it down right there. And then when we move this first rocket, I'm gonna want to actually put down a rocket little area. Place to land our rockets. Let's see exactly where we can put that landing pad. Let's see. This might not be a bad area for landing pad. Because it is really close to everything. But I am leaning a little bit more towards this area. Which means we need to move this out of the way first, and yeah, 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 okay. So, uh, yeah, these guys should be pumping out twice the amount of uh, fuel as before. 200% efficiency there. So we got 12 coming out of there, 12 coming out of there, so that is 24 per day. Yeah, that's significantly faster. Or sold, sold. Gotta keep that in mind every time. Every time I say it wrong. 10 polymers, so it's just the concrete that needs to be moved. We are making a good amount of concrete. Twenty per day, that's pretty good. Sector so scanned. Anomaly one of these found. times I'm gonna I'm gonna remember that. It's kind of a day, but it's not really a day. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna also put down a a sector to scan. Let's scan over there. Ooh! Ooh! Oh my god, my mind just exploded when I saw this tile. That is probably the best tile I've ever seen. Wow, that's incredible. That's actually incredible. Okay. Damn. Damn. That is really damn good. That is two underground metals. That is a vista, a research site, underground water. Why didn't we start with this? This isn't even fair. Paradox or, you know, Paradox and whoever else helped to make this game. This isn't even fair. You should have, like, let me stay right there. That's... Ah, oh, sometimes, you know, it is. it just is that way, right? Darn, man. Darn, that kind of... Hmm. We should have gotten this guy to... Yeah, check out that first, because you're closer. That makes more sense. And this guy, let's go and uh, take all the metals we can. Out of here. All the metals, and let's drop them up over here. There you go. Uh, we should also set up a couple of depots over here, this general area. Yeah, set up a couple of depots. So let's start off with... Start off with maybe a food, a concrete... I have the concrete over here. Metals... Might want to have maybe over here. But I don't want to like get in the way of everything, you know? Let's uh. Put down the metals like over here. That should be fine. Oh, you can actually go back. Okay, nice, nice. We do want you to go back as soon as possible, so let's do that. Research complete. Alright, there you go. Launch a rocket from Mars. We got a little bit of uh, good old research from that too. Very nice. And while he's gone, you guys, uh, let's assign you to buttons, buttons, buttons. Are you guys, oh yeah, because he took off, so all these general area ones are kind of having issues. That makes sense. So then, let's set down our good old landing pad. Put it down. This seems like an, like an okay place for it. It's not taking up too much space. It's generally just hugging the cords, which is good. Yeah, seems like a good place for a landing pad. We are building the dome. Oh, very exciting, very exciting. We're gonna get it done. Uh, we do need, actually, to put up the power cables. Just like one right there. So it has the power and all that stuff. 
We're also going to turn it off for now because there's no one in it, right? So we actually don't need to have anyone. We don't need to have the life support on. So we're going to keep it turned off. Sector scan. Sector scan, no resources. Okay. So new techs are available. Let's check out what those are. Uh, unless I already checked them out. So adaptation. Oh, very good. Farms. Yes. 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 Very good. We definitely want farms right now. Yeah, okay, that's that's more important than literally everything else. Farms are very, very good. They're like they're like the hydroponics, but they're just significantly better, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go with that. When we can. So that means going over to Yeah, when we get the farm, that's gonna be fantastic. Farms are just so much better than the hydroponics because you can improve soil quality and all that stuff. It's just it's just so much better. So for our storages, let's put down a couple more depots. Um, might want to put down a fuel depot over here. It fits really nicely in there, right? So may as well just put one down. We can also put down a polymers, electronics, and rare metals. Uh, yeah, let's put down a polymers right there. Let's put down electronics. Let's put down. And machine parts just to get you know enough storage for everything to work out just fine. Are you transport? Okay, you moved all the metals, but I want you to move more metals because I'm definitely greedy like that. So let's do that. All the ones over here. We actually have tons of metals over here. I'm really surprised that we have so many metals, but it makes me very happy. So let's continue along like that. Construct a dome. 500 research. Very nice. Okay. So when this guy gets over there, I think we're gonna actually make everyone come over here. Maybe. I'll think about it. It's a high chance we might want to bring people over. The rover uh, okay. held the silver white mineral up to the camera just as the chemical analysis came through. We found tellurium. I have absolutely no idea what tellurium is, but in a moment the chief engineer mission control was at the communication station, urging instructions to the RC Explorer on how to handle and analyze the discovery. It was amusing to watch the almost childlike excitement in the eyes of the expert. This is a significant discovery because it allows us to overcome an old problem in metallurgy. Easy, easily machinable metals allow us for the economic manufacturing or for economical manufacturing of components, but the factors that allow it Yeah, but the factors that allow it usually lower their performance and vice versa. Thus engineers have always been challenged to find better ways uh, find ways to balance the two factories factors. The addition of tellurium to iron alloys allows them to perform better in both areas. Okay, robotic techs are decreased in cost. That is very, very nice, actually. Yeah, very, very nice, because we can go with uh, drones and rovers moving faster, which is really nice. And this is also a robotics one, which is very, very good. Okay, sounds fantastic. Alrighty then, uh, we could also, right now, just because we have the extra money, I think might be worth it to start a little bit of extra research over the next few days. I believe that will be very significant to the development of our colony. Uh, nothing too big, just like the regular old 200, right? I'm not going to go with the super expensive option, but it'll make things a lot easier for us to just move through, right? So, especially with the uh, hydroponics farm, or soil adaptation, not the uh, not the hydroponics. This is the hydroponic. We don't want those. Those are eh. Eh. Those are bad. We don't like those. So we're going to keep them the way they are. We currently have more than enough power, very much more than enough power. We're going to start off a little bit small here. I think we're going to go with maybe a living complex. Two of them, actually, just to begin with. All right, right next to each other. It's fine. We're going to put down... Hmm. No, I have a better idea. Not there. We don't want that there. Uh, let's move the living complex. The big buildings, the giant, like, 4x4x4s, four by four by triangle things, you know. Um, we're going to keep those in areas that we're definitely not going to connect to anything else. Now, we might want to put a dome here. We haven't entirely scanned this area, I don't believe, right? Yeah, we haven't. So over here, there might be something good that we want to put a dome down, right? So we're going to leave this area with a little passage here, like a little extra slot. So maybe if we want to build, you know, like passages and stuff, we can build one just like that, right? Nice and easy, wonderful. Uh, just to be sure, can we do that? Yes, we can. We just need to get rid of the wire, you know, move it all around and stuff like that. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, we'll just rewire things if we need to. Uh, other than that, things you're going to need here are definitely the... 
what is it? We're gonna need the farm. Maybe we're gonna put it in, you know, this little top right corner kind of. Not really corner kind of corner, not entirely corner thing, whatever, you know. Uh, we're gonna put down our research lab. We're gonna put down playground. A nursery. We're gonna leave that open there. We're going to put down a an infirmary. A grocer. And perhaps the diner, maybe? Yeah, it should be fine. I think that should be fine. Uh, oh, did I do this wrong? Might have done that wrong. Oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah, okay. Of course, let me just do things the right way this time. The, uh, the grocer. The... Diner. And the infirmary, I believe that was. Yeah, we only have like four minutes to go here, so... Uh, yes, the infirmary, right here. Alrighty then. Um... Anything else to begin with? I think we should be fine. We're gonna put... I wanna put a school. Maybe an open-air gym. Something that, like, people can use, right? Let's check, uh, how many... Eventually, we're gonna be able to check how many empty jobs we have here, and then we can use that to determine what to do next, I guess, right? So let's start with all the buildings. Make all the, make all those things done. It's definitely a sentence there. Got all those things done. Uh, we're also going to want to put down maybe what is it? A recharge station. Yes, it'll be nice. Maybe like right there will be fine. Sector scanned. Yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, nice. We got concrete in this area. Let's check out what we have over here. Should be done uh, kind of soon-ish since they don't take very long yet. Very very large sensor bonus. Let's move those there. There there. Okay, cool. Nice. So, the number of people that can live in here is going to be 28, right? All those are done. I don't want to check the number of people, because I want to see if we should put down a school or something else. Mm hmm. Yeah, the research station is important. The diner, the infirmary, the grocer, the nursery, these are all the basic things. So we can have children, but I want to know if we should put down the school, or if we should build another dome, attach it sort of over here. Uh, once this thing is filled up, we're going to send it to go. But I want to see, maybe, just maybe, we set up another dome. Don't know if it should be dome, maybe a barrel dome. Microdomes are absolute garbage in my opinion. Um, for a couple of reasons. One, I think the problem with uh, basic domes is that they're just like, or uh, with barrel domes. Wait, no, I was talking about microdomes. Yeah, you can't put a spire and they're just not very big. You know, they take up... You could put a whole bunch of small ones in tandem, but the problem is that people have to move super far because they have to go through a whole bunch of tunnels, and they don't like going through tons of tunnels. And so if you have, like, if you have the microdome, sure, it has, like, a spot for three things and, like, a, a small thing in the middle. But it's just not as good, you know, where you can set up, like, six slots and just change them interchangeably. Sector you know, whatever you want to do. Research complete. Uh, no resources over here. That is actually really unfortunate. You might want to put a dome over here just in case. Maybe, like, a research dome or something. But we also want to put a research dome over here. Hmm. It's a very, very tough, tough answer to to get here in the future. Uh, the number of jobs we have currently is three. We're gonna be able to fix that relatively soon. But yeah, we're gonna put something with a lot of jobs. Uh, so things like maybe the casino complex wouldn't be that bad. It has nine workers. These things will also have workers. Do you have enough concrete? We are making enough concrete, but we don't have enough right now. Okay. That's fine, yeah. The grocery should be done kind of soon. Uh, five vacant resident or uh, work slots. 28. That's a good number. If these guys get done, just bring the rest of the concrete that they need over. Really fine. I'm wondering if maybe we can expand over to this concrete. And then from this concrete, we can also expand over to the research site. That would be interesting. Set up like two domes over here, one for like research, obviously, and then one for you know living spaces and all that stuff. We're gonna move these guys up. Yep. And maybe we can bring down uh, our first guys, or we can bring down the other stuff like the prefabs. But I don't think we need the prefabs right now. I think what we can do: send our first rocket with like materials and stuff, right? Uh, four more drones. Oh, we don't need that many drones. We don't need any drones right now. Get a little bit of food starting. Uh, just to start with, maybe, 
I'm a little bit of a loss. I don't know what to do, actually. I don't know what I should bring down. Huh. Everything's generally okay. Maybe a bit more food. Uh, maybe, like, electronics, polymers. That should be fine. This stuff should be fine. Yeah, we're going to start with that. It's going to come down, land on the rocket pad, and then this guy's going to go up, and then he's going to bring passengers back for us. But right now, it is just over an hour. I think we'll go just until these guys are done, which won't take very long. Um, also, wait, hold on. You guys outside the range. <gasps> you guys are outside the range. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. But it is solvable. I don't like the solution. Because we're going to have to order down another drone hub. Okay. This sucks. The uh, large supply pod. We get five, you know, for free at the very beginning. I guess we're going to have to actually use them. That sucks. Okay, drone hub. And... Maybe two of them, just to begin with. Fuel refinery, not super important. Uh, Sterling generators, okay, we don't need those. Machine parts factory. Uh... Yo, okay, which are the ones that we can or can't make? Let's check the ones that we can and can't make. So, uh, eventually we're going to be able to make polymer and fuel refinery. Okay, so polymers we don't need. But we do need things like... Everything else. Okay. So polymers we don't need to send down. Right. Um, so the machine parts and the electronics are important. That's all we can send down in one large pod. Oh, that makes me a little bit upset. Okay, instead, we don't need electronics right now. We're just going to go with the drone hub. Right, and a little bit of food. That should be fine. Maybe an orbital probe just because we can fit it in. That should be fine. Alrighty then, with that launch, it is now an hour and two minutes, meaning we're going to actually have to wrap this up relatively soon. Or maybe just right now. Yeah. The first hour special of the... I almost said Stellaris because space and stuff, but no. Uh, Surviving Mars, the first hour special, has finally concluded after what feels like a dry throat and a couple other things. But anyways, we're actually going to have to put a little bit of cut in here uh, because, you know, first hour special, no longer, no less. There you go. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. So have a fantastic day and catch you in the next one.